hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is otzi i create content on sewing to Seras and turban cap and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i really really appreciate you in today's video i'll be showing you guys on how to use a stone board to create beautiful design like this the stone board design came out beautiful on this bubble dress and i absolutely love it if this is what you would love to learn sit back relax and enjoy the video here are the materials we'll be needing we need a board rhinestones i have two different colors here gold and silver you need your picker duster and transfer sheets There are different board design in the market. These are the few ones I purchased recently. I'm showing you the design that I have. Henceforth on this channel, I'll be making bubble with different stone board design. So this is the basic. I decided to show us on the basic on how to use stone board because in my subsequent bubble tutorial that I'll be using the stone board, I won't be teaching us on how to use the stone board on the video. So everything that you need to learn about using a stone board to create a beautiful design is going to be on this video and any question that you have concerning a stone board you are going to ask me on this video so please take your time to watch the video very well and if you have any question whatsoever concerning today's video feel free to leave your comments down below i'm going to reply you so these are the designs that i have I'm going to be creating beautiful bubble with it. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please hit the red button down below to subscribe so that you will see beautiful designs that I'll be using this board to create on a bubble. I'll be working with this board that has Versace design. So the next thing I'm doing, I'm cutting out a sheet of paper to cover the rest of the design. So I'm going to trim the paper. Then I'm going to use my paper tape to tape it down. If you are using a board that has a particular design, there's no need to go through this process you just need to pour in your stones and start distributing them on the board but since this board that i'm using has different designs and i'm not using those other two designs the design that i want to use is just this research design so you will need to cover those other designs so that when you are pouring your stones on the research design that you want to use stones will not enter into the other designs so i'm working with this silver stone this is number one when you go to the market to buy they will ask you which number one number one is the highest so i'm going to pour generous amount on the board then i'm going to use my duster to distribute the stones into the board if you don't have duster you can use your palm to also distribute the stones into the board like so but since i have a duster i'm going to use 
a duster. Don't mind me, I take my second phone to record the process in order to create reels on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram at Otis Culture. With the same duster, I'm going to dust out the excess stones from the board. After distributing the stones into the Versace designs, so the remaining stones that we have on the board, I'm going to use the duster to dust off the excess stones from the board. Then I'm going to gather them into one place like so after that i'm going to take my picker in the process of dusting the excess stone away from the board you will notice that some stone turn upside down so i'm going to use my picker to arrange them properly and any excess stone that i have on the board i'm going to use my picker to remove them Also, any holes that has no stone in it, I'm also going to use the picker to put stone in it. I'm going to continue with this process till I'm true with it. You can also use the picker to sweep out the excess stone away from the board like so. Once you are done arranging the stones into the board perfectly, the next thing you will do, you will take your tape measure. You will measure the length of the design and the width of the design. Then you will cut it on the transfer sheet. I'm going to be cutting out the measurement on the transfer sheet into three places because the length of the dress that I'm working with, I'll be needing about three of the designs to give me a complete length of my dress. I'm marking the width and the length then I'm going to cut out into three places The transfer sheet has two faces, 
there is a part that is like a paper part and there's a part that is nylon which is the gummy part so the part that is the gummy part i'm going to detach it away from the transfer sheet then i'm going to place it on the board so i'm detaching the nylon part which is the gummy part away from the transfer sheet like so then you will be needing assistance of someone to hold it at the other edge while you hold it at the other edge as well then you will stretch it and place it on the board like so then after that you will use your duster to press the design you press it down very well after pressing it down very well then you will remove the nylon from the board by so doing all the stones would have attached to the nylon please the gummy part of the nylon is what we face the board then you will use your duster to press it down like so so after that you are now going to remove the nylon from the board by so doing as you can see all the stones have transferred to the gumming part of the nylon then we will now place it on the paper and set it aside so I'm going to repeat this process two more time in order for me to have about three sheets to make a complete dress. So I'm going to put this aside and continue with the remaining two. So once you are done, you will remove the nylon part from the sheet and place it on the dress. As you can see, the ones I've already placed on the dress. So you remove it like so, then you place it on the dress. Sorry for seeing my office toilet. I had to close the door. I'm sorry for that. So you place it on the dress. This is the same process you will go through if you are working with every other design, whether big or small. This same process works for every design. So after that, I'll place a sheet of paper on top of the dress where the design is and press it down with my transfer it. I set the temperature to 180 and the time is 20 seconds. The time is because of the fabric that I'm using that made me to set the time to 20 seconds. If it is African print that is a cutting material, I'm going to set the time to 60 seconds. So I'm going to continue with this process till I'm true with the design. You can see the one I've created already. You'll be very, very careful while placing this design on the dress. And you will do it about two times each set, two times. This is the final look guys we've come to an end of this tutorial for the sewing part of the booboo watch my next video for the tutorial i'm going to post 
a detailed tutorial on how to cut and sew the bubu. It is very easy. So we've come to an end, guys. If you find my tutorial helpful, please appreciate me by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so. I upload weekly tutorial on my channel. Also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Until I come your way next, please stay safe, remain blessed. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.